Hi, we're going to look at some different ways of linking shapes in Visio 2010. Now I've opened up the basic flowchart template, so I've got my flowchart shapes in my stencil over here. Um, I'm just going to add a shape, my process. Now probably the easiest way of uh, adding a shape and linking to another shape from this shape would be to use these little uh, triangles that kind of appear as I place my mouse pointer over the shape they automatically appear so what I can do is just hover over one of those little triangles and it pops up this little mini menu now these shapes actually correspond with the first four shapes that appear on my stencil over here so I can if I wanted if I fancied having say a document shape in that mini menu um, <coughs> I just place it in the relevant position in the first uh, four shapes and there we have the document there so I can actually change which shapes appear in this menu so I'm just going to go for that document shape you'll also notice that I can um, choose to uh, place or link a shape uh, vertically as well as horizontally okay so those are nice and easy to use um, if I select a particular shape in my stencil and then Rather than just hovering over an arrow and waiting for the men mini menu, I just click on it. The shape that I have chosen automatically gets placed onto the page and is linked. So that's quite a nice option as well. Right, let's look at some other methods. So I'm going to place a shape here, and this time I'm actually going to drag my database shape onto the drawing. I place it over. The existing shape and then over the little blue rectangle in the direction that I want to link. Notice how that blue triangle becomes uh, bolder. So if I move down here it will become bolder there. That tells me which way I'm going to link this new shape. So I let go and it adds that shape. Let's try it with a decision. This time let's go down. So I place it over the triangle in the direction that I want to link and it puts it in. Another nice option uh, that you may have discovered is the fact that I can actually place a shape between existing shapes. Now I'm placing a sub process and I want to place it between this process and this decision. I'm going to place it on the line between the two. Notice how I get two red squares there. Put it in and it moves this decision shape down. It gives me enough space for my sub process. I can do the same if I wanted to add another process between these two shapes. Okay, so those are some really easy ways of connecting shapes and adding shapes to my drawing. Now let's just try another way. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this connector tool before I add any shapes. Now I'm going to add a shape, add a second shape, I'm using these little spaces here to uh, get even spacing. But notice how the shape got automatically connected. That's because I had this connector tool selected. I'm going to try that again, try it again, maybe we've got another one, one of those, and they get automatically connected. Now say I wanted to connect, my next shape I wanted to connect from this going down, what I'd have to do is first of all select that shape, add a new shape, and it will then connect from the shape that I selected. So that's quite a nice option as well. Now the next method, I'm just going to turn the connector tool off by going back to my pointer tool, is where you've got several shapes already on your drawing. So maybe I've got these shapes here. Uh, let's put them on. And I end there. Now I haven't actually connected them for some reason, but I want to be able to connect them. Now what I can do is add something called the connector tool to my quick access toolbar. I'm going to click on this little customize button here and I'm going to go down to more commands. Now this is like a library of all the different buttons that you can add to Visio. I'm going to go to all commands and I'm going to look for a button called connect shapes which is here. I'm going to add it to my quick access toolbar. Click on OK. So 
what I do, there's my connector tool, it's on my quick access toolbar here. I'm going to select the shapes in the order that I want them selected. So um, I might say, for example, to go for that, 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 that and that. I know that's a bit of a strange uh, way to do things, but you'll see what I mean. And then I'm going to select that bottom one there. Then I click on that button and you can see what it's done. It's connected them in the order that I've selected them. So that's quite a useful method, the connect shapes tool, if you've already got shapes on your drawing. Now, a few other tips and tricks uh, that you might find useful. Um, if I've got a shape, maybe I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this shape. Um, now, there's a defined number of connection points on this shape, uh, but I may run out of connection points. And what I can do is on my home tab is go up to this uh, connection point tool. I click on that and you can see where the connection points are. There are in fact four. But if I was to use up all those connection points, um, then I would need to uh, add other connection points. The advantage of connecting via connection points, if I was to manually connect here, is that obviously if I drag a shape, then the connection is glued to the shape. So it's a, a real must to connect via connection points. So anyway, back to my connection point tool. What I'm going to do is add further connection points. Now to do this, once I've selected that tool, I hold down control with my keyboard and you can see that I get a little, um, a little cross that appears. And when I click, it adds a connection point. So I can now, if I was to add a decision, and I wanted to connect with my connector tool between those two points, it would work for me. So this is the new connection point I've created, and you can see that the glue is there. So that's quite a useful tool. You can also delete connection points by selecting your connection point tool, clicking on a connection point, it gives that kind of pink color, and I just press delete on my keyboard. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is the difference between point-to-point -point glue and shape-to-shape -shape glue. Now, I'll kind of show you what I mean. Um, if I had two shapes in my drawing and I manually connect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from this point on this shape over to that point on that shape. Now, when I move the shape, the second shape. Can you see that no matter how inconvenient it is for the connector to stick to the same points, it does exactly that. So the connection is between that point and that point. And even if I move things around there, the connection is still between those two same points. So that is a point to point connection. Now, I'm um, just going to delete my second shape and uh, add another one to my drawing and what I'm going to do is create a shape to shape connection so I'm going to use my connector tool again but rather than pointing at a particular connection point what I'm going to do is just sort of point at the shape in general you can see that rather than getting a little red square around a connection point I get a red uh, border around uh, the shape itself so I hold down my mouse pointer and I drag over here and I'm going to wait for the border to appear around the shape, not around the connection point. Okay, so I let go. Now let's see if the behavior is different. So the connection point is between those two points. I drag down, the connection point is now between those two points. So it's finding the shortest way of connecting, or the most convenient way of connecting the two shapes with a shape to shape connection.